from the lake. Live at your peak. Hey, what's up? It's Hayley from EliteLife.com.au here and you're watching Hayley Car TV with your free tip of the week to live at your peak. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> I'm keeping it. <laughs> Today's distinction follows on quite nicely from last week's distinction, dare to suck, because this is what you now have to do once you do dare to suck. And the distinction is talent is overrated. Yep. So you dared to suck, you've started something new, you've been going for about a week and you're not seeing any results. That can be really demotivating. And what often happens to people is they go, oh well, I suck at this, I'm gonna start something else. And they just keep getting into this cycle. Let me tell you something, talent is a myth. It's completely overrated. You have to keep going. Keep going. All right. Oh, did it again. If you are talented and smart and good looking, good on you. And, sorry love, it won't always get you the sweet life. <laughs> I like it. If you want to be the best at something, you don't have to start off as being the best or naturally gifted and talented. Sure, it's easier in the beginning if things come naturally to you, but as time goes on, it's consistent, deliberate practice that gets you over the line and into the realms of being elite. Now, bleh, 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 which... <laughs> hours of deliberate focused practice to become a master at something not natural talent this is awesome news if you still suck at something you love keep going you've probably still got another 9999 hours to go hmm so you mean next time I see something doing something awesome and I think hmm I could never do that because they're a natural it's really just because they've been doing it longer than me and they've worked harder at it yep in fact, most of the time when you're looking at someone and you feel disheartened because you're not a natural and they've got something that you don't, you're actually not giving yourself or them the credit they deserve. That person has probably worked hard and long hours for it to look natural. And you can too with the right attitude. I'm so smart. I'm so talented. Take the Beatles for example. When people used to say to Paul McCartney how brilliant and talented and genius and destined for fame the Beatles were, he used to get really offended. What they don't realise is that before everybody knew them as the Beatles, they were the house band at a strip club in Germany for months on end, seven nights a week, doing eight hour sets a night. By the time they'd hit the big stage, they had done over 12,000 gigs in that club. That's 96,000 hours of focused practice as a band together. How many bands do you know have worked together like that? It wasn't talent, it wasn't natural genius, it was hours and hours and hours of deliberate practice that made them the masters at their craft. Hmm, 10,000 hours. That's 1,258 hour days or two hours per day, every single day for the next 13.69 years. That puts it into perspective. Now, here's the real question for you. Of all the things that you think you really want to be a master at, which one are you willing to put 10,000 hours into? So, take some action. Leave a comment below this video and tell me what you want to become a master at and how many hours of focused practice you think you have to go. If you like this video, don't forget to share the love with your friends and keep your eyes peeled for the new website where you can get my tips every week to your inbox plus more for free. Happy hump day! Over here instead. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice tree.